How excited were you guys when you found out that they were playing here? <laughs> I was jumping up and down, I'm not going to lie. I was so excited. Ohio alumna Kayla Gross was hoping the Bobcats would play in Boise because... I graduated in May with my Master's of Counselor Ed, um, and because of that, I relocated to Butte, Montana. And so our thing whenever we moved out here was if we're going to make it to the Potato Bowl, we're absolutely going. Gross and marching 110 alumnus Andrew Bethel drove six plus hours to get to the game. For Bethel to see the band he used to play in was a special moment. It's exciting. We lived in Athens before we came here while she was getting her master's. So I got to see him kind of regularly there. I played AVB and was still around it. But then to come out here, well, you're not as connected. I missed homecoming this year. And so to get him here is exciting. And despite being 2,100 miles away from Athens, Ohio fans traveled to Albertson Stadium to root for their Bobcats. It's just a sense of comfort. I mean, like being from Appalachia, you're so like ingrained in home and like everyone loves each other. And so like being back in that atmosphere where like we are with fellow Bobcats, we are really around people that are our people. And so it's been awesome just to be back. A lot of those fans included the parents of the players. For some, like Ohio offensive lineman Nick Sink, have now experienced three bowl game wins. Oh, it's been fun. I mean, we've been fortunate. This is our fourth bowl game to be to that we've been able to attend. And I think this past year she was able to go to all the games and I missed one. It's just it's been very fun. It's a great organization. The coaches have been great and he's had a good time playing at the school. From Boise, Thomas Garbrick, WUB Sports.